God, just give me another chance. Tomorrow is my wife's birthday and I don't have anything to give her. I wanted to take her out for a nice birthday dinner, but I simply can't afford it. Last year too, on her birthday I could not give her any present. I just danced for her like Elvis and had a narrow escape. And the year before that, I tried cooking for her. Uh, that did not go too well either. This year, if I try to make some silly excuse, she will surely throw me out of the house. Hey, it's not that I did not try. I went shopping for her for a dress. But you get nothing for less than 25,000 rupees these days. Poor Malti. She cooks all day so that we can cater to our customers and meet our expenses. She still has to work at 64. What a worthless husband have I turned out to be. God, you have to give me a chance. For my wife, God, for a decent birthday present for her. Please, please, please. I have heard you, son. God, is that you? You look different. I have been hearing your prayers and observing your situation. And I am ready to help you. I will give you an opportunity to go back in time and rectify your mistakes. You can go back to when you were 25, do whatever you want and come back to see the consequences. But remember, you can do this only thrice and your wife's birthday is just two hours away. So do wisely. I am going to ask Laila out for dinner. I should have done this when I had the chance. What an idiot I was. This is going to be so good. Oh my God. What is it? Ahem. Listen buddy. You only have two hours. So better focus here. Do you understand? Are you ready? Yes God. I am ready. Send me back. Okay Nishant. Calm down. It's really not that hard. Instead of blowing my money on stupid things, I just need to save it, right? Let me just put it in a fixed deposit. Yes, that's it. Fixed deposit. My money will be safe and I can withdraw whenever I want to. And yes, it will give me a good rate of return. I can't wait to see my living condition when I go back to the future. Wait till I see the big smile on Malti's face. God, I'm done. Send me to the future now. What the? Nothing's changed? The same old sofa, the same old house. Wait a minute, the television seems to be new. Seriously? This is what a fixed deposit gets me? A new television? God, a little help here. I did a fixed deposit 40 years back and all I get is a new television? Son, I think when I was handing out brains, when your turn came, I was out for lunch. Ha 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 Okay, listen. Fixed deposits are not the best of investment options. Accounting for inflation, a fixed deposit hardly gives you any returns at all and the returns are taxable. People think they are good because there is minimal risk and it gives them liquidity. But in addition to fixed deposits, you should invest in other assets too. Hmm, got it. Now I see the mistake. Okay, God, you had said I get three chances to go back. It is already 11 and I have one hour to go back and make some investments. Send me back, God. What should I do now? Yes, of course, mutual funds. Let me park my money in a good mutual fund scheme. They will give me much better returns than a fixed deposit. Huh. God thinks he's too smart and I'm stupid. I will show him what I can do. His jaw will fall to the floor when I go back and find a giant house in place of my shack. Okay, God, I am done. Take me back to the future. Okay, this is a little better than my earlier condition. I have a better house and a scooter in front of me. But it's still not what I had imagined. I bet all my friends are better off than me. God, I don't understand. You asked me to invest in something other than fixed deposits. And I put my money in mutual funds. But I still don't see much improvement. Can you tell me what's happening? Son, mutual funds are a good investment. But you did not consider the administrative fees. While your money kept growing on one hand, it slowly kept trickling away in the form of taxes on the other. The administrative fees were very high, which ate into your savings. Moreover, you got your maturity five years back which you blew away on a Europe trip. 
Oh no, it is 11.45 and I still haven't been able to save enough to take Malati out for a birthday dinner. What can I do? I tried making a fixed deposit and a mutual fund and nothing seems to have given me enough returns for a comfortable retirement. Think, Nishant, think. Yes, now I remember. God, my last trip is left. Send me back to the past, quick. Holy cow, Nishant. You have done well. Your living condition has improved dramatically. What did you do? God, you know when you were distributing brains, you really were out for lunch. So I helped myself to a very large serving. Actually, this time I remembered something I had seen in my office. There was an animated video presented to us by the folks from HDFC Securities. There they talked about the National Pension System or NPS. NPS not only beats inflation, but the returns are tax-free and contributions became a tax-free component of salary. The administrative charges are also low as compared to other investment instruments. My retirement savings will now come back to me as a monthly pension. That would keep my expenses under tab. Moreover, it is regulated by PFRDA, which is a government of India body. It is a low-cost investment compared to other financial products. Lastly, it helped me save additional tax over and above the normal 1 lakh tax limit, which is the biggest advantage. My gross salary was rupees 15 lakhs. I used to pay approximately rupees 4 lakh 50 thousand as 30% tax per year. 35 years back, I started investing 10% of basic salary in NPS which was approximately rupees 50,000 due to which my taxable income came down to rupees 4,35,000. I saved rupees 15,000 on tax per year. After 35 years, I made total tax savings of rupees 5,25,000. Over and above that, I invested rupees 17,50,000 in NPS. Assuming 10% average returns, I built up a corpus of rupees 1 crore.